Hey, Julia, you got a little Kool-Aid mustache going around your face. Oh, man, that's so embarrassing. Wait a second. If Kool-Aid can stain my skin, I wonder what else it could stain. Hey guys, it's Julia, and this video is Cool Aid Beauty Life Hacks and One Fashion Life Hack. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell to get notifications whenever I upload. Also, if we could get this video to 50,000 thumbs up, that would make my day for real. Also, I'm doing this new thing on Snapchat and Instagram where I post an Instagram picture like normal, but I mention it on Snapchat and I tell you to go post like whatever emoji I'm feeling at the moment on that picture and then I'm gonna check out your account and like a few of your pictures so make sure you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram if you wanna participate and like communicate on there. Snapchat shouts are back so if you're not already following me on there you probably don't know what that is but if you just leave a comment down below on this video I might potentially give you a little Snapchat shout out on there. You know you might see your username. So enough talking let's go ahead and get into the video. First we're gonna start with the lip stain. So here's what you're gonna need. I'm gonna start by pouring some water into the bowl and then some Kool-Aid and mixing it together until it's a Kool-Aid mixture and then putting some Vaseline in. And then we're gonna light this little candle on fire and heat it on up. You can also microwave it. I just decided to do the fire thing because I like, I like seeing it in front of me. And then we're gonna pour it into the container and that's it. We'll put it in the fridge for like 30 minutes and then take it out of the fridge for another 30 minutes and you're done. I decided to make more than one to show you guys what they look like. So let's test the pigmentation. Super pigmented. I love the red one, it's my fave. And then here's the other colors. Here is the finished lip stain. I feel like this is better than most lip stains because usually they're like very drying, but this one is Vaseline, so it's not at all. And I also feel like this is one of the best DIY lip products I've ever made. So I decided to make them in every color of the rainbow or that Kool-Aid has. Well, Kool-Aid might have more colors than this, but anyway, I did every color of the rainbow and they're super pigmented and I'm definitely gonna use these in like real life. And this is what it looks like on lips. Number two, tie-dye. So here's the supplies that you're gonna need. So for my clothing item, I decided to take a t-shirt and then I tied little rubber bands around into knots so we can tie-dye it. And then I poured in some white vinegar and some Kool-Aid, mixed it together. I suggest you put gloves on so your hands don't turn out like this. Then I went ahead and dunked my shirt in and soaked up as much of the Kool-Aid as possible. Blood, it's blood. Once the shirt was all tied out, I just put it outside to dry. Now wait two hours for your shirt to dry. Two hours later. After it completely dried, I just took off the rubber bands to show the tie dyes. There we go. Looking pretty spiffy. <laughs> I don't know. I think it looks good though. So here is the finished Kool-Aid tie dye shirt. Right now it smells intensely like vinegar. So I'm gonna go ahead and iron it and then wash it because you wanna iron it first so that way the colors don't bleed in the wash. Number three, the classic hair dye. So here's what you're gonna need for this. We're gonna go ahead and pour some water and heat up the stove and then pour in our Kool-Aid, warm it on up, mix it around, pour it into another bowl. So we're gonna be dyeing these hair extensions with red ombre Kool-Aid and if you're wondering why I'm using hair extensions and not my hair, it's because a few weeks ago I did a video on a $400 haircut versus a $50 haircut and I just don't want to ruin that expensive, nice hairdo. Since I'm doing an ombre thing, I'm only going to dip the ends in for like 10 minutes and then I'm going to take it out, wipe off the excess, and then let it dry. So here is the finished Kool-Aid hair dye extension and I did this on real human hair, well a real human hair extension, just so we would know that it actually works on human hair. First time doing ombre hair dye. The color when I rinsed it out was not like coming out in the sink, so I think this is going to last a pretty long time. Of course it's going to just wash out eventually over time through your hair so it's like more semi-permanent, but it's a good cheap way to dye your hair. Our last DIY hack, nail polish. So here's the supplies that you're gonna need. Of course, we can't forget our fingernails. So I'm gonna take some Kool-Aid and dump in a bowl, mix it with some water, and then we wanna add the alcohol after and then mix it again. 
Now go ahead and take a brush of your choice and you can paint it on your nails however you want. It's perfect if you're trying to do like a watercolor style nail polish or a tie dye or a dip dye, whatever. And now we're gonna paint it over with a top coat to seal it in. And that's it. So here's the finished nails. It stained really well. Ignore this hand for the most part. I kind of just was like playing with designs here and it's a little messy. But this one shows how pigmented it can actually get. And then this one I just kind of like made the pinks of the French tip pinker. And also ignore the fact that I'm a really messy nail painter. If you do this, just be more precise, I guess. But overall, I think it turned out really well. And it would be even cooler if you did like a white base coat and then like tie dyed colors together. So, what do you think of the video? Did you enjoy it? Well, if you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more and leave a comment down below letting me know your favorite hack or if you're gonna try any of them and definitely send me a picture if you do. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you missed my previous video, you can click here on the screen to watch it or link in my description to find my social media. So I'll either see you in that video or my next video. I'll talk to you guys later. Heart, bye.